where kind of the planets aligned. Um, I'm looking at all these birds, and honestly, you could not really have placed them necessarily in a better place. What's great is, uh, and you know, from a magnetic point of view, I think this is where your eye goes. I mean, she's in focus. She's got a great gesture here. She's throwing up some uh, bread, I would assume, to, to the birds. And look at how the birds have surrounded her, particularly the way she's framed in this area here. Um, you know, I'm always like to experiment and see, you know, what could a crop do? I think this one is, is kind of well done. Uh, the only other thing I might consider, I suppose, <clears throat> if we looked at uh, kind of an odd shaped one to maintain the, so uh, <clears throat> maybe I'm just gonna uncrop this a little bit and see. I'm, I'm changing it a little bit in the sense that I'm getting out of, I'm taking some people out of the frame. Let me just see what happens here. I'll do that, you know. But I, I still think that uh, it's nice to see this whole scene and see the other people in it. We can always kind of make things lighter and darker, etc. cetera. Um, but again, I don't like to get perfection. Perfection gets in the way of the good. It's, it's fantastic considering all these birds are out of your control. Is it perfect? No. But perfection sometimes ends up not being as, as great as we think it might be. And in an imperfect world, especially as a street photographer, Derek, when you're out on the streets, uh, you know, it's rare that you get that kind of perfection where everything kind of works. And sometimes I think if it's too perfect, it's less interesting. This is a shot that everyone has tried to take at some point or another, whether it's on a beach or with pigeons in the city. And for those of you who have never tried to take a photo like this, it is literally impossible to get the shape of the birds, they're not even, Steve, if you look at them, they're not even really overlapping each other. Normally, it's just a mess. Yeah. Exactly, and exactly. You, you really, when you're talking about how the framing of this is perfect, that is an understatement. It is, it's like, you never get this, especially yeah, the human subject. I'm glad to hear you say that because I think maybe I was just under, a little uh, under, um, what's the word? I was not maybe speaking at, at the, you know, when the planets align, they align, but Every time we go out, we want the planets to align. But sadly, you know, they don't align, which is why, you know, Cartier-Bresson said in the time of film, your first 10,000 photographs are your worst. I mean, you're shooting, shooting, shooting. But the idea of capturing things that are moving this way in a composition that works this well, you're right. It, it's, it's very rare. I, you know, how can you not, you know, aim your camera at a flock of birds that are flying and someone's feeding them? You always try. Rarely do you get this kind of framing.